guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ping Ping, and for today's video, we will talk about visa updates in all categories for immigrant and non-immigrant visas like tourist visa, Q1 visa, family-based visa, employment-based preference visa, IR1 to IR, IR5 visa. And there is a special announcement from the consular office in Cebu. So, let's go. By the way, guys, if you're new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button to get updated of my next uploads. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Now, let's discuss visa updates from U.S. Embassy in Manila. Special announcement from the U.S. Consular Office in Cebu. The U.S. Consular Office in Cebu will be closed starting February 15, 2022 until February 18, Friday of 2022. If you need emergency assistance during that days, you can contact the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Guys, the U.S. Embassy in Cebu will be back regular hours on Monday, February 21, 2022. Another update from the Consular Office in Manila, U.S. Embassy Manila updates everyone that the new career is now LBC, from to go to LBC. So if you want to send your documents, passport, or if you want to pick up documents from the U.S. Embassy in Manila, please use the LBC as the official career of the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. Pick up and drop off of Philippine passport and documents at the Mall of Asia branch for LBC remains free of charge so you can get your documents at the moa L lbc branch moa free of charge u.s embassy in manila are now processing inquiries dated february 4 of 2022 so guys if you send emails and inquiries from february 1 to february 4 please wait because the u.s embassy in manila will reply and please refrain from sending duplicate emails because they will put your email in spam message. So you will not receive an email from the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Update for U.S. tourist visa. The U.S. Embassy in the Philippines canceled the inter interview until February 18 of 2022. Please wait for further instruction when you can reschedule your interview. And MRV slip or deposit slip is still valid until September 30 of 2023. Those who wants to renew their tourist visa, M visa, F visa, and J visa interview wa waiver program is until December 30 of 2022. If your visa is expiring within the next 48 months, you can apply for interview waiver program. The U.S. Embassy in Manila are now catering interview for family-based preference who are documentary qualified DQ or documentarily documentary complete last October 2019 at the National Visa Center. So if you receive an email that you are documentary complete or documentary qualified under the family-based visa from October 2019 downwards they are now catering interviews for that visa preference now for most current employment based visa the u.s embassy in manila are also catering interviews who are documentary qualified or documentary complete at the national visa center last july of 2020 july of 2020 downwards they are interviewing employment-based visa who are documentary complete or documentary qualified last July of 2020. Please take note guys that for family-based preference and employment-based preference, the wait times is very long because the National Visa Center is the one scheduling interview for you guys and they set a limit for the visa that they issued every year. So you have to wait patiently. As of January 31, 2022, IR1 visa cases being scheduled for interview were documentary complete at the National Visa Center in February of 2021. For most K visas being scheduled were documentary complete in October of 2021. 
Meaning for K1 visa guys, they are case ready last October of 2021. But if your case is still at NVC and the status is, it says NVC, so you have to wait because NVC is not the one scheduling the interview for K1 applicants. They just forward the um, approved application of all K1 applicants to the U.S. Embassy in your home country. So, for example, right now your status at the SEAC is at NVC, then the NVC will forward the documents to the U.S. Embassy once the U.S. Embassy in Manila inform them that there is an available schedule for interview. So, they will transfer the documents to the U.S. Embassy. Once your SEAC status says case ready, then that's the time that you can schedule an interview. Okay? So that's it. All right, guys. So that's it. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.